Hello and welcome to this last lecture regarding domain model. In this lecture, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how to write a domain model using StarUML. As you can see, I've opened a StarUML file and I've added a new model for the domain model and I've named it DM domain model underscore demo for ECR. And I've also copied the list of actors that we had identified uh, from the video that you saw the previous time. Uh, so with this list, I'm going to start adding a bunch of classes that I need. Uh, and these classes are actually going to represent the domain entities. So I'm just going to double click this and add about six of them. Once done that, I'm going to select the tool back. The first one is going to be customer. Customer is going to be making a booking. And the booking is going to be for vehicle type. And the booking is what is going to result in a rental agreement which will tie back to a specific vehicle and it's a rental agreement can actually have um, an invoice and for that invoice we could actually be making certain payments payment. Uh, it's always a good idea to keep all your entities in uh, singular, not plural. So I just change that from payments to payment. Uh, with that done, uh, as we said earlier during the video, uh, domain entities are extremely high level conceptual entities and hence we do not need to model any of the member variables. We're just going to stick to the class names itself. And yes, we are using the class diagram notations of UML to draw the domain model. And once I've drawn this at this particular level, the only other um, notation I'm going to use actually two other the first other notation I'm going to use is association as you can see here and I'm going to basically uh, make an association between all the relevant um, entities here uh, rental agreement is what is going to be tied to vehicle rental agreement will have an invoice and the invoice could actually have payments and a vehicle type will also you know a vehicle will belong to a particular vehicle uh, after having done this, the last part we need to do is basically take care of multiplicity. Uh, just from the interest of time, I'm just going to show it in one. Uh, the final solution has been presented to you anyway and you know how to do it. But let me just demo how to write it in one single case. Now, if you look at the customer and the booking, a customer could of course have n number of bookings. But ideally, a booking should belong to one customer. So I'm going to select this association for the customer and booking. And if I'm going to scroll down here, you should be able to see something called as end one multiplicity. End one and end two basically refers to the place from which you started. So I, if you noticed, I had dragged the association between customer and booking. I clicked on the customer object first. So hence that becomes the end one multiplicity and booking is a second entity I'd clicked. So that's the end two multiplicity. So customer uh, booking belongs to one particular customer. So I'm going to go and say this is one and on the end two multiplicity, I'm actually going to go make it a star because or one to star will also work because a customer could have one to n number of bookings. So I'm just going to drag and drop it wherever I want. And with this, you know, this is basically how we go about writing the multiplicity. You of course need to do it for all the other relationships that we have shown here. Uh, but this is basically how you go about writing the domain model. And as I showed you in the previous video, I had color coded this just so that we know that it is uh, not an entity per se, but it's more of a actor. So this is basically what I had done. So just to remind ourselves and to communicate the fact that customer happens to be an actor and not really a domain entity per se. So with that, we come to the end of this demonstration of how to write a domain model using StarUML. In the next section, we're going to start talking about how to realize a use case. I'll see you guys later then.